How's everybody? It's Aidan Configo Krill. I am on the live stream here for the I'd just like to say thank you to Andrea Croy for waiting uh, out on Facebook. And we'd like to obviously say thank you to uh, Buddha59 saying hello guys. So bear with us and I'll be currently the guys are doing testing. So they are all on their first runs. So we've got an intermediate uh, proper Jamkana section which we are flipping the camera's angles from. And then we've got the beginner section if we're not really focusing too much on those guys are just getting the feel for things before they move on over to the proper Jumkana section so as you can see there's a golf five now out on uh, the track as we uh, follow him with the cameras so don't forget to share the link with your buddies and them uh, to get uh, to see what the Jumkana is all about because we hear about we know about Drifkana this is Jumkana of Luxembourg Motor Club uh, so yeah, check it out.
How's it guys? I'm back on uh, the comms. So, uh, Carl, uh, Sean Young, yes, we are currently working on that issue, but uh, we've double checked it and it seems to have uh, worked itself out. It might be a bit of a, a network issue, as well as Aslan Ishmael, uh, Video Akman. Yeah, but look at the weather. Things are not predictable with according to network and stuff, but okay, it seems like it's all worked itself out. We are monitoring it constantly. And uh, yeah, let's just jump onto the, the YouTube section here. Uh, the Mountain Ghost, he asked uh, if uh, Calvin Dyke is driving today. Unfortunately, he's not. Uh, Daniel Blazer is the only guy piloting a 350Z. Uh, he was out earlier on his test run. As we've got uh, coming in through the scrutineering section now, another tester. Yeah, so if you see anything on the feed that we don't say or we don't uh, pick up on it please leave that in the comment and don't forget to share to your, your social media platforms uh, via either whatsapp on uh, facebook and instagram if you can we'd highly appreciate it. we'd like to bring you guys closer to the jump kind of side of life and uh, i'll be back on comms very soon Yeah, so the, the entries list that I've got in front of me now, you just saw the S14 of Lorcan Elwood, that is the VK45 Turbo. Uh, Joshua Anna is on Facebook, you asked uh, what interesting turbo cars, and I think that S14 is probably one of them. And obviously this uh, Mark II now of uh, legendary Duncan Jeffers, which is now currently on circuit. You'll we'll probably see him coming through now towards scrutineering as he comes through there. Just tap down a little bit on speed, just to try and get it nice and smooth through there. And then once you go through the alleyway, it'll be put down in the corner towards the cones. And you'll notice the, the guys were struggling this morning with the setup of the track. Uh, just wanting to know exactly how many, how the figure eights are going to be working. As you obviously see now, as Duncan goes around the, uh, the bike chicane uh, island, if you can put it that way, uh, towards the three cones. So it'll go a long way around. On the left hand side of the cone he'll come around then he'll go the other cone will be again on his left come around 
uh, I think rear wheel drive cars will appreciate the cones a lot more today in this Jamkana. But uh, Duncan being nice and smooth, uh, comes around. And then one more time around that cone on the far end. Okay, I think he cut it short there a little bit. But uh, the course is pretty intricate and as I said earlier we are running a beginner section which is right opposite the drag tower you can see on the cameras when we do swap to down the lane we'll see the guys going up towards turn five and then uh, we've got our guys who've already done at least one or two jump counters under their belt they are on the main straight here which you obviously see on the live feed here currently so now we've got this uh, V8 powered pit car Short wheel base tucking in. Looks like that thing can go anywhere. Mike Van Us, that is Mike Van Us with the Land Rover V8. The V8 is screaming towards the cones from the alleyway as he comes around. So go around the bike chicane yet again, the bike chicane island. Uh, Carl, Lawrence, Nido, top event guys, uh, would love to participate in the next one. Yeah, by all means, jump onto the Wittsburg Motor Club uh, page as well as straight out of Cape Town as well just to find out more information as to when the next one is because the calendars are a little bit difficult with the uh, COVID regulations now currently so uh, yeah everybody's more than welcome to come and partake even if you don't even have any um, you don't even have any jump kind of experience they cater for that as well so we've got the beginner section uh, opposite the track tower as I said earlier so you're more than welcome to bring it down so thanks to that uh, Carl Lawrence Snyder we hope to see you at the next one the next event let's see what's happening on the uh, Ruby Sabio shout out to the 86 boys and then we got Robin Kruger saying woohoo go dad who's your dad you must say who's your dad So please, if you're having issues on Facebook, watching it, the, the live stream on Facebook, jump onto the YouTube one. Uh, at the Jim Kahn Test Witzenberg Motor Club. You'll be able to find it. Um, obviously, link to the Facebook uh, live feed is on my YouTube page, which is Uncle Figo C Cape Town. So now we've got the Bantam out on track. comes down the lane towards the cones. Finally the toy with a rustler. As the rustler, the Ford Phantom shared the uh, Samco uh, bolt. Nice use of the handbrake there, flicking the back end of the bucket there. The LDV if you can put it that. I don't even know if you can call it an LDV. He's is stepping very nicely with this front wheel drive back here and it goes into the box and the flag goes up for green so that is his run and a lot of, as I said a lot of the guys are uh, doing test runs now currently just to get the feel for the layout so Logan is now pulling out the 5 litre V8 Mustang next up on the obviously you have uh, Anwar Daniels and Dion Daniels otherwise known as DJ Ready D also here with the uh, S13 200 SX SR20 powered cars they went out a little bit earlier these seem to be struggling a little bit Anwar is taking it in his stride Anwar obviously has his little young daughter being the Navi as Loken now takes the 5 litre it's got the roti form wheels at the back he goes towards scrutineering now Subaru taking on the uh, the beginner section. You'll probably see him in the background when you go looking up the lane. Looking up the lane. Towards the cones we go. On the brakes, tapping. 
Yeah. Now he realizes he made a mistake. He's passed the cone that he was supposed to go around first. So Lorcan is no stranger to drifting. He obviously his first drift outing was at Drift City. Uh, with the 200 E6, remember correctly, coming a little way too hot there around the, uh, the Pike Chicane Island. Just double checking with the Navi if he's going the right way. goes into the box. Slade is driving as I said. Uh, oh, Mike Van Us, Robin Kruger says there. I just check. Uh, oh, there we go. Slade William. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, Mickey Van Sale. Uh, for some strange reason, I overlooked the driving pilot in the uh, two liter Audi today. Okay, yeah, just a shout out there to uh, little Liam and Benjamin. I take it that's Naidu. They're busy currently watching the live feed on YouTube. They call Lawrence uh, Naidu. Little ones, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. I know Africa Plaknius. Is that really your surname? She said, I don't want to pick on your surname, brother. Uh, hopefully, I've got it wrong. Uh, we figure good to hear you back in the day. Yeah, we don't know how long is that still going to be for, but yeah, I'm in the tower and I've missed this place quite a bit. I've missed my messy wall with the stickers on at the back. So, uh, yeah, if you guys don't mind, you can probably drop off some stickers. And the next time I come here, I'll pluck them on the mirror. As I see Imran Khayer now uh, going through the beginner Jamkana section for this 86 Right, so we've got everybody's favorite uh, guy behind the wheel, that is uh, Isaac Van Sel. No uh, fricadel today. He's driving the Toyota 86, GD86. Gets it nice and sideways. This man is no stranger to getting it sideways because of Drift City has been in the podium many a times comes through comes a little hot into the scrutineering section but still scrubs off a little bit of speed and he'll be coming up the alleyway right about now towards the cones on the inside flicks it to the outside then has to go around the bike chicane again 
tries to tuck the front in as close to the cone as possible. Scrubs a little speed and he brings it around the cone. Now he's going to have to come towards us. Flick it around again. Now he's going to have to go long way around. So the cone will be on his right hand side. Goes very wide. Adds a little bit of time. But the guys are going to have some fun. Taking it very, very nice and wide. And flicks it. Oh, and he spins it. We should have just gone straight into the to the finish section and he gets the get a green flag. I'm not too sure if we got a green flag there now. But yeah, it was it's a concern not piloting his uh his beast jump kind of drift car. So uh as it seems my everybody has gone through the the testing so far. Okay, so we got Leon Engelbrecht now out on the circuit. That is the two liter 16 valve. Uh, not too sure if he cut that very, very short. It seemed like he cut that one very short. Right, so we got Sean Pretorius now out with the N14 STI as the entry so yeah. Wonder what happened there. Pulling off immediately. Probably was an apple or something there. Byron Height with the Toyota Tash standard 2E1312 valve. Hello. Gonna take on the course. See, as you don't need to have a souped up car. This man comes here with a stock 2E1300. As Jonty gets very sideways onto the uh, onto the finish line for the uh, beginner section. And Mr. Height driving. Mr. Height doesn't look like he has even a navigator. Yeah, no navigator. So off he goes towards scrutineering. up the alleyway tucks in as close to the cone as you possibly can There's absolutely no uh, suspension modifications as well on this car and uh, yeah that's uh, it's a little fun thing to do I'm probably gonna do this one the next time I can um, Around the cones we go. The cones have caused so much confusion earlier today after scrutinizing and driver's briefing. But off Mr. Height goes and he's in the box and he gets the green flag. Sorry, man, I know it's very difficult for me to keep up with names and, and faces and people and what cars they drive and own 
So, yeah, I do own a Subaru, but I'm no longer part of SFC or, or Full Flat 4. So, yeah, because the guys are not going like to like me when I'm done with my, with my car. So, I'm going to get a little bit of a, a hit or even a hit on me. But, okay, we're not talking about me. We're talking about the Jamkane here today. So, off Herbie goes. It is Herbie, right? Yeah, Herbie's out. That is Nikki Engelbrecht. TFSI. He comes down the alleyway towards the cones. Struggling a little bit. And comes around the uh, bike chicane. Lots of steering lock in there. Take, tries to take it nice and smooth through there. Tries not to add on any distance, but goes arming a little bit for the TFSI. We're probably gonna see quite a bit of that. It comes around. And Nikki gets the green flag. Right, so we got DJ Ready D now out on the track, coming around the bike chicane section, struggling a little bit, looks a little bit too much, towards scrutineering he goes, scrub some speed off, Ooh, comes a little bit too sideways, too slow to coming in there by scrutineering, comes around and will come down the alleyway now. Left-hand side, flick it around, come towards the cone towards us. And go around it, long sweep. This way towards us, around it. And I will flick it and then go towards the finish line. We straighten it up. Oh, very clever, very very clever. But okay, he's got a green flag there as well. So he hasn't contravened the laws there. Right, so we got Zayd Omar now with the Subaru Forester. I'm looking me crazy on the list. Why is Forester? But I see it's Subaru. So Zayd Omar, all wheel drive, coming around in scrutineering, down the alleyway, two liter turbo. Come around, oh, yeah, needs to tuck it. Body roll is not your friend here. So you'll come around the Bike chicane, furthest cone, and we'll sweep wide around the cone, and then we'll head towards the camera before heading towards the finish around the other cone. Around the cone to the finish, he has to stop. Green flag. So what is the front wheels have to be over the line but the back wheels mustn't be over the line so basically the finish line needs to be in between in the middle of the car then they get a green line as soon as you go over with both sets of wheels you get a red flag then your time is null and void 
So the guys are busy doing time runs, and now we got Daniel Blazer now with 350Z. He had an awesome uh, test run earlier. He smokes it up immediately, and there he goes, flickety flick, 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 and he'll flick it around. And just watch this how he comes around here at the bike chicane. He tucks in on that turn and he tries to hit as far wide as possible, and he flicks it around. And he comes and he powers through, and now he'll just have to adjust himself as he comes out towards Krutenering, and he pins it nicely. He got the car straight enough to him to pull straight in there with maximum speed and he comes down the alleyway towards the cones he locks it up he immediately puts himself into a nice setup position and he goes wide and he tries to get as close as possible to the cone he's trying not to change gears as often just to keep the power band where it's supposed to be because if he's going to go up again he's just going to have to come down again so he's going to be wasting time, so he goes and sweep wide around the cone, he goes, does a dirt drop. Towards the second last cone in this run, he slows it down, not what he wanted to do, he lost the momentum there. And he crosses the line now, oh, too much momentum. And he gets a red flag, both sets of wheels are over the line, so that run will be null and void. Hey, 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 hey. Daniel Blazer, no stranger to putting it sideways. So we've got a Nissan Champ 4 AGE power twin cam coming towards scrutineering goes around the drum down the alleyway oh it sounds so nice in the limit doesn't want to change the gear doesn't want to waste time by doing that it's the waiting game so you'll go around the bike chicane again oh it's properly planted down Minimal body roll and not spending a lot of time sideways, it's more like having proper momentum in the direction it needs to go. And that's a pretty, pretty quick run, eh? Pretty quick cross the line. He gets a green flag, two wheels over the line. So that was a pretty good run. Then, this was more poetry, but I can tell you that jump is super, super quick around the circuit as I see it's Anwar Daniels now the Drift King DK Sun not too sure if he's gonna come up first or the uh, Golf 5 is gonna come first we'll have to wait and see Right, so we got the Rainier Fun Sale with the Golf TDI 6 speed. Golf 5. Got Steelies on, heads towards Scrutineering now. Oh, a little bit wide there on the entrance. But okay, he's gonna come through there. Down the alleyway. Changing up gears. Oh, comes a little bit too hot. Too, too hot. He has to readjust himself. And we'll go around the super bike with the bike chicane again. The bike island, if you can put it that way. Around the cone. And then he'll go to the cone on his right. Our left. His right. cut it very very tight there on the cone and it crosses the line gets a green flag so two wheels across guys you don't have to be shy you can communicate and speak to me on the platforms either on youtube or on facebook 
I'm more than welcome to do a shout out for you guys and obviously you guys just to do a favor just to share with your buddies this uh, event that we're busy covering so Robin Kruger says her dad is my that oh. sounds interesting and what Daniels is now out on track there used to be uh, a regular on the Ready D show myself and obviously Anwar is also a regular comes through his navigator is uh, his daughter Fatima comes towards it e-brake handbrake lock up come around again no it's not it's uh, Jody Crowe is uh, the navy for this run Flicks it around, oh a little bit too much, but he doesn't touch the cone, which is the most important part, so he'll flick now wide. He'll come around. Grabs another gear or a clutch kick at least, and then he pulls into the stop and he gets the green flag. Well done Anwar and Jody. Subaru up. That's Nadia Singh, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see the number now. Yeah, that's Nadia Singh with a spec seat turbo. The all wheel drive might struggle just a little bit with the, the course layout. I think it's more in favor of a rear wheel drive car. Frontal drivers have been struggling as well, that's my observation. I'm not the jump kind of specialist. So you can tell me in the comments whether I'm right or wrong. I like to interact with you people, with everybody. As Nadia Singh pulls in now to the stop, she stops in time, she gets a green flag, so that time will stand. And obviously time penalties, there are always time penalties. If you jump the start, you're under starters order, you jump the start, that's 10 seconds. You hit a cone, that's 10 seconds. So, uh, is this Isaac van Sel now again? The Tierra 86. Very wild out of the blocks that there has to be Isaac. Yeah, that's definitely Isaac. And he comes around the pike chicane, carries nice momentum of the 86. A little bit wide there and as he comes towards scrutineering. Okay, keeps it nice and straight to the entry. Tries to keep his momentum down the alleyway he goes. Around the cones sets himself up, he gets nice and tight to the one cone. So you go around the super bike chicane, the bike chicane once more. Nicely done, keeps the momentum going. Around the cone on the left hand side for him. Then we'll flick it. Then we'll go long way around to the cone, so the cone will be on the right hand side, the next one. Hangs out the back end. 
comes around, flicks it. Hopefully this time the right doesn't spin it, and he stops it. Green flag this time around. Green flag. Right, so we got Gunther Applegren with the Golf Spider Man 1800 Class B through scrutineering. He goes down the alleyway, he'll come now towards the cones. 1800 Adolf screaming. In he goes, locks it up the rears, comes around, he'll go around this bike chicane again. The navigators watching the paper very, very hard on the other side of the vehicle. He'll come around, it will be on the left hand side. Ooh, went a little bit too far now he has to he's adding distance on for himself off he goes on the left for the last time that cone cuts it very close to the cone and he needs to be on the brakes and he gets the green flag well done there by uh, Gunther so we've got Lorcan coming up again now with the Rocket Bunny S14 VK45 turbocharged Right, so it's Loken now. Drift the man. Hanging it out sideways with the S14 Sylvia. VK45. Turbocharged. That's the Infinity engine. Keeping it in the Nissan family. Oh, he gets it wrong again. He has to come on the right end. The cone has to be on his right hand side. Then the next cone has to be on his left hand side. And then he'll have to go back around. Mistake. As he comes out there, he'll go around the. Oh, he almost kicked the cone there and he stops. Gets a green flag, so his time stands. Now we've got the legendary Duncan Jeffers. Turbo and supercharged Mark II. The destroyer of dreams. This probably, man has probably won so many Jumkana events. Unreal, unreal, sorry. Don't forget, guys, I'd like to talk to you guys so you can, guys, can more than welcome to comment on the YouTube as well as the Facebook live streams. Kylie Isaac Southgate says hi, Kai. Duncan Jeffers goes towards scrutineering. Dumps so loud. Down the alleyway he goes. Towards the coast. Makes himself a little bit of space so he can get in a little tighter. He'll go around the bike chicane. Duncan trying to take it nice and smooth and keep momentum on his run. I don't know, my feeling is that this favors the rear wheel drive more than uh, rear wheel drive or front wheel drive. Seems like a little bit of a mistake there from Duncan there around the last, second last curve. And he'll stop. And he gets a green flag, so that time will stand. So we got Mike Van Us now again with the Land Rover V8. Robin Kruger's dad commented on the uh, YouTube live stream.
Only a pleasure, Mr. Carl uh, Lawrence Lydon. No problem. Let's listen to this thing if you can hear it. Looks more like it will climb any hill that you put in front of any mountain. Short wheelbase will help. Nicely done, nice and smooth around the box. Jesus, eh? that screams. All fours are staying down. So much travel in the suspension, just keep all fours planted. Nicely done in the box and gets the green flag. So finally the toy now up with the rustler. Seeing some of the uh, guys in the uh, beginner section here, we've got a 235i uh, F22, 21. So the rustler comes now, we'll go around the punch again. Oh, flick that back in so beautifully. Just knows when to get it to settle. And it goes through to scrutineering. Down the alleyway. Probably if we power it. Come around the bike chicane for the last time. Look at that. This is like in unison. Nice flick there around that cone. Nice flick again, but it keeps the momentum. It doesn't slow it down. It just keeps on moving. This was a pretty quick time if I should think about it. And he stops and he gets the green flag. Well done there to Fani. That's Loken now swaps cars again. 5 litre V8 Mustang.
Right, so it's Leon Engelbrecht now gonna go for another run. Okay, I'm at So, so Isaac Fonsell is coming like a bat out of hell there, keeping his momentum. The guys are all out here to have fun, and that's what they're doing. This track time is so limited to everybody. He flicks it out very wide, he comes towards the finish line, he stops, and he gets a green flag. Well done to Isaac. Okay, so Sean Pretorius now with the N14 STI going through scrutineering now. And he'll go down the alleyway. Getting a nice aerial shot there. Don't see these often at the Cape Town live event. Nicely done. It gives you a different perspective on it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very well done. He's got the green flag. Right, so Byron Height is out on the track. Nice aerial shot there of him. And he'll come towards scrutineering. Picks up a very clean line through there. No momentum lost there for him. As I said, you don't need to have a souped up car to enjoy yourself. As Mr. Height is doing with his 2E. 
there's the aerial shot again, now it gives you more of a perspective of what they're actually doing. So you'll go around the bike chicane, nice and clean, keeps his momentum. Now you know what I mean with a long way, he goes the long way, furthest way around there. Comes around and back there and to the finish. And he's got a green flag. Right, so this aerial shot has now been slightly tweaked as Nikki is out on track with Herbie. I like that some of the comments have come through. We've got uh, Marcel Halt uh, rooting for Mike. And then we've got uh, Grim Ross. I disagree, I think the rear wheel drive car slide out a bit too much around the bike uh, chicane. Yeah, that's, that's, why I, I, that's why I said let's have a little discussion about it in the comments. It's, it's better to be that way so everybody gets an understanding of what is actually happening as Herbie comes now into the box. Nikki gets the green flag. Well done there to her. Right, so we got some information here. Fani and Zach the Toy won the first three Club Mykonos Langeba and Jamkana events. That was 26, 27 and 28. Uh, FM Civils, uh, Slovaki, LDV2 Liter first. The only father and son combination to win the Mykonos. As well as having been, been the overall uh, WBMK Jamkana champions. Uh, Booster based combination. We got DJ Ready D now out on track. Comes down the our way. I think Ready D just added a little extra there to the to the course there for himself. Have some fun. It's a green flag. Well done there to him. Also, uh, another little tidbit Isaac Van Sale Jr. and Senior used to share driving and navigator duties in a variety of Dynotech cars. The VW Golf, now driven by Leon Engelbrecht, it was obviously developed by Isaac. Isaac, no stranger to developing uh, golfs uh, and, and many other high powered vehicles. Yeah, uh, Grim, uh, no, there's no problem with your spelling. <laughs> We're not here to uh, give you grammar and spelling. That's, uh, this is not school currently. Uh, as uh, Zaid Omar now goes out of the uh, Subaru Forester. To yeah, the 350Z, uh, Daniel Blazer doing very, very nice runs. But about the red flag, yeah, I really uh, agree to that.
little bit wide, but he picks it up nicely and he keeps that momentum going through there, through the alleyway. He goes 350Z streaming as he initiates very early. Gives a little bit of a tail wag. And he goes around the bike chicane again. He keeps the momentum, he doesn't lose much of it. comes around the, the last cone very very nice and neat so you'll have to go around the cone on his right hand side dirt drops it yet again comes out wide putting some serious angles was a drift competition would be a different story but this is jim Carter, so it's about time but he's all having fun and hopefully he stops the car before he gets in there and he gets a green flag uh, Bevan Harris, uh, Emil Ashua, yes, he was out on the beginner section. I'm not too sure if they moved the car back to the pits because I see the car standing on. No, it's not actually at the pits. It's standing on the back straight, right at the back of the beginner queue, uh, facing the opposite direction. So he yeah, was playing a little bit. I'm not too sure if it's something that the uh, terminal that they're not able to repair. As uh, watching now the beginner guys that is um, Mr. Osman with his uh, Tiara 86 the red 86 with the whale wing the whale tail wing so now we got a top view now for the twin cam powered Champaki Anton Smith Anton Schmidt, sorry, goes to the scrutinating aerial view, giving us a nice different opinion on things. Down to the lane we go. With the cones. Keeping it in the limiter because the guys don't want to waste time going up a gear, then they have to go down a gear again. It's wasted time as he comes around the bike chicane. Not much tail happiness happening from the champ, but as a lot of people say, they gets a green flag. Yeah, so uh, got some tidbits. Obviously, we've spoken about that one there. Yeah, so uh, Leon uh, Ingelbrecht has developed Isaac Pencil Jr. and won numerous uh, championships and events. Uh, a very disciplined driver in both real and front wheel drive cars another master of driving as <laughs> slow as possible and as fast as possible if, I don't know if you can actually do that drive as slow as possible and fast as possible but then again the name of the game in Jamkana is smooth and quick so you don't need to be the most powerful to, to gain anything but As you come down the lane, TDI, that's a Renier fan sale. Right, so we have Anwar Daniels now, SR20 powered, going towards the drone, the drone is 
It's a little bit too tall, everybody doesn't take the cone out. No Gandhi by Anwar, he goes around again. Grabs another gear. Locks it up, comes around. Playing with the throttle. Nicely done. It's a green flag. Right, so on the aerial view, you can actually see the guys in the beginner section of the Jamkana. Uh, it's a slow limb combined with some uh, donut sections that they need to do, which is closer to turn five. So you'll probably see there's probably like 10 million 86s standing there. The whole 86 crew uh, rocked up, which is good. And uh, we've got Nadia Singh now out on track with the Spec C Subaru. Going through scrutineering and he'll come down the alleyway now. So let me guys guys let me know what your thoughts. Do you think that it's uh, this course that we currently have running is it rear wheel drive, four wheel drive or front wheel drive? I know it's one gentleman is voices opinions that the rear wheel drives are adding a little distance on by going so wide as Nadia Singh now negotiates the cones. So off she goes towards the uh, finish gate. Gets the green flag. Six is back. He's like, oh, got a little bit wiggly there. Comes around the bike chicane. Doesn't carry the momentum this time around. Trying to tuck in as close to the cones as possible. Flicks out towards scrutineering. Nice straight line in. Down the alleyway he comes. Comes as close to the first cone that he passes as he has to increase his amount of speed that he carries into that section. Nicely tucked there. Now the long way around. Not the cleanest run from Isaac though. He's losing a little bit of momentum. And the green flag there for Isaac van Sale.
So we got Gunther now out on track. The Mark Spider Man. What's about Motor Club is doing some really nice commenting out on the Facebook live feed. Um, nice discussion. The rebel drive cars look very quick due to this being spectacular. Uh, but front wheel drive inevitably proves uh, the fastest in Jamkana events due to the superior grid and less spectacular. Yeah, that's true, it's true. We might be looking at the, the actions of it because look at Gunther is getting nice and smooth through the cone section there. Let's call it the triad section. And then uh, he's keeping the momentum and he's going and going and going. He's not adding any distance to it. And he crosses the line, he stops and he gets the green flag. Well done there by Gunther. So now we've got Loken. Loken's been struggling a little bit when he comes out of the alleyway towards the cone. Uh, either gets confused whether he should have gone around it or not or cut between it. But uh, yeah, let, guys, please let me know what your thoughts. What do you think is the fastest uh, so far in your opinion uh, today? Obviously the times will show uh, otherwise. But uh, yeah, let us know. What do you guys think? It's nice to have a conversation with you guys because obviously no spectators allowed, so I can't really have a people that don't understand. So local now with the VK45 turbocharge S14 drift car, rocket bunny kit. Got that little Camaro looking front end. Takes it nice and easy through scrutineering. Comes down the alleyway. Thing sounds amazing. Okay, gets it right this time around. It's a scrub though for a lot of speed there. Just to ensure he's not going to overshoot it. Around the bike she came. Off he goes. The triad cones. That caused so much confusion earlier today of the driver's briefing. As to the course. Nice to see that all most of the drivers have gotten a proper head. Losing a little bit of power there, dropping out of the power band. And he crosses the line. Oh, yeah, he gets the green. He gets the green. Well done there to Logan. So it looks to me Duncan Jeffers is next up. Turbo and supercharged uh, Mark II. Now, this man is also another. Uh, 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 you can put it that. Uh, um, a stalwart and a heavy hitter in this section. Right, so we got Duncan Jeffers now jumping onto the YouTube section. Um, yeah, uh, Karim Ross, he is currently in the uh, beginner section, which is uh, it was uneven numbers, and his number was uneven. So Duncan Jeffers now goes towards the triad cones now. Even Harris, you got a very good point there on the YouTube uh, comments there. And uh, Grim Ross, yes, they have been all-wheel drive. That's uh, Subaru's all-wheel drive. Um, I'm not too sure if Slade's car is front-wheel drive or Quattro. So we've got a, quite a few Scoobies around here. Got a Forester as well. And there's a Nissan Cascade, if I'm not mistaken, as well. I'm not too sure if it's taking part. So Duncan Jeffers now goes through towards the box. Ooh, that's a very tight one and he gets a green flag. Well done there to him. A Buddha 59 says, depend on the car setup, driving style and the donuts and the figure. It's just look cooler in the rear drive. Yeah, it does. It's a, it's a visual effect, a visual appeal. You can put it that way. That's why I'm having, trying to have this open uh, forum, forum, open dialect with you guys with regards to what do you think is quickest in a Jamkana, 
a technical Jamkana like it is today because a lot of guys have been struggling with the triad cones. Uh, so Buddha says yes, obviously the setup. I fully agree. Grim Ross, yes there is. Uh, yes, the beginners will be swapping out. We'll be swapping out the beginners. We'll be swapping to the, uh, the main course. Uh, so it's just to get a feel for things. And obviously, not just the beginners course because all the uneven numbers were placed on the beginner section as on us. Through the alleyway towards triad co cones. Bike chicane. Us. heading towards the box now the finish box and wait right, you see he's get the green flag well done Right, so it's finding the toy. Finding the toy is going through the alleyway towards drive cones. Just watch how the back end of this uh, row cam steps out. I don't know why I said row cam, it doesn't even have a row cam out there. Isn't it? And there's the rustler. Try it cones. Yes, yes, look at the back end just step out like that. Nicely done. Nice good car control. Cross the line. Gets the green flag. Well done there, Fanny. Right, so we got Lorcan now, back with the 5 litre Mustang, drone footage giving us another awesome angle, come through, you see inside the cone, outside the cone, to scrutineering, around the bin, see those tyre marks that's starting to develop there, down the alleyway towards triad cones. Around and then back around the uh, bike chicane. Inside, outside, inside, outside, weaving all over. Goes a little bit of farming there for Lorcan. Oh, a little too hot. And in the box he goes and he gets the green flag. Well done, Lorcan.
Okay, so we got Andre Smith now going through the triad cones. We'll go around the bike chicane again. The drone shots is giving us such a very different demographic or an angle and perspective on this event. Long way around, around the cone, and this will be going towards the finish line. And he gets the green flag. Right, so we got Danny van Niekerk now on the beginner section showing his driving skills. As I was about to sing his praises, the commentator's curse kicked in. But off he goes nonetheless. Nice angle he's got there. He'll come around and then back. Slalom, inside, outside, inside, outside, and stop. Supposed to stop there, but he's continued on. So we'll be taking a break. I'm not too sure, but uh, we can show you some aerial footage. So we got uh, number 20, that's Andre Smith again out on the track. Through scrutineering, down the alleyway he goes. Towards the triad cones. And then he'll come to, here we go, aerial view. Triad cones. The claim of many sat sanities today. Round we go. To the finish line and he stops. And he gets the green flag. Right, so if you guys are seeing now lots of movement happening on track, this is the swap over. So everybody that's been on the, let's say the pro side, or the serious side, will be moving on to the beginner side, and everybody on the beginner side will be moving over. So you'll see eh, the support vehicles and everybody is moving, uh, just to make things a little bit easier. Yeah, Malika Daniels there, the uh, Ranger. Everybody's moving camp. It's not an exodus, it's not the event is not done yet. So the guys are gonna have some fun on the other side and the beginner guys are gonna see whether they've learned anything from the, the beginner course. No, I can't even say that either. Because that would be insulting. The warm-up section, yeah. So these guys who have been on the warm-up section have been getting a little bit better uh, track time, you can put it that way. They haven't uh, to scratch their head. But now, them, not one of them being on the uh, technical side, uh, will obviously now will give them a bit of a, a shakes, if you put it that way. Because a lot of guys who have done drift events like Drift City, etc. Drift City is one of those very, very confusing events as well because it's a drift kind of. And uh, so the guys that are on the warm-up section 
are now moving as you can see the, from uh, the drone footage that Carl is busy providing us um, that DJ Ready D is now pulling in there and Chanti and the rest of the guys will be making their way around turn 5 towards the main straight Mike Van Us the short wheel by his Jeep So now we're going to see what these guys have learned actually on the warm-up section. If they've learned anything on that section as to what they need to do. And hopefully the triad cones doesn't claim so many guys in the practice runs like they did earlier today. So uh, don't stray or go far away. We'll be back now, now. I like that we're having a discussion on uh, the YouTube side. Uh, just. Buddha asked if the beginners, as you can see now on the live feed, <laughs> the warm-up guys are coming now to the technical side, uh, where the triad cones has, uh, has uh, taken out quite a few guys, not physically, but uh, it's, it's, it's messed them up a little bit with the figure eights. And then uh, Buddha59 says, yeah, it's front wheel drive, uh, he uses the handbrake to slide it. So, so we've got Slade, Williams is going to be, he's going to come over now with uh, his uh, A3. Audi. Okay, sorry, Mike's cause a Land Rover. What did I read here? Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Robin, uh, that's my mistake. I made that mistake. I take full responsibility for that mistake. Land Rover, short wheel base. Now for those of you that can see now on the live stream there is a car that looks like it's got its front teeth taken out. That was on the, the warm-up section. Uh, the 86's bumper was taken off or at least damaged and he removed the complete bumper. So now he's got a Cape Flat style uh, car. That's for Tanani. So Robin, I do apologize for my mistake there. Uh, calling your dad's car uh, uh, a Jeep, it's a Land Rover. I do apologize for that. Right, so a little tidbit we've got uh, Mike Van Us, he's the chairman of Team Wobble the Land Rover. Uh, watch all fours doing their own thing on this vehicle. Yeah. So Vitzenberg Motor Club giving us some tidbits here on the Facebook live stream. Please guys don't be scared you can have a discussion with me. I'm not gonna be nasty. I'm not gonna read your comment. I'll speak to you because you're the only friends I have. So please guys interaction is the name of the game because obviously your guys cannot be here in the flesh and if you know me for the past whatever how many years you know i like to have an interaction with the spectators that are on either side of the drag tower unfortunately i do not have spectators so we're just doing the swap around and we will be back shortly but don't worry don't stay don't go away you can watch all of this action on the drone footage currently so yeah We'll see you soon. Not that we're not going anywhere. I don't know why I'm saying see you soon. We're not going anywhere. I might be just stepping out for maybe an ANG. But uh, yeah. And maybe a Buddha Vossi if I can find one. But uh, yeah. Don't forget to comment. I like, I like, I like to have interaction on the live feed. So uh, yeah, Cape Style 86 there, uh, Mr. Naidu. That's correct, they, they forced to turn us out my brush and pray so a bit, so you can go to the insulation. So, uh, yeah, thanks Bevan Harris, uh, I, I don't hear that too often. Normally I'm currently in public enemy number one, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah guys, don't be scared, have a conversation with me, I'm just going to jump off mic and uh, I'm probably going to have a cigarette also. Um, the Drifter guys are going to love being on the warm-up section now though. 
uh, die en Anwa Loken en Daniel Blazer, they gonna love it because it's slalom and it's got some mm, and it's they're gonna try and drift turn five. That's that they can guarantee you they're gonna do. So yeah, I'm gonna jump off. I'm gonna take a little bit of a breaky break, but don't worry, the live feed.
Right, as you can see, uh, the deliberation. Everybody's checking their phones for the uh, course. And uh, now this, 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 these three cones that we see here, closest to this camera, <laughs> you're calling it the triad cones because it's taken a lot of guys for a joke. A lot of figure eights. So the guys are all just trying to figure out the course. Obviously, if you stray off course, that's 10 seconds to your time. But uh, look, we're not worried about time now currently. We are worried more about the fun factor. And the guys are all having fun. Uh, we had a question here on the uh, Facebook uh, live feed. That's uh, Eugene Norse. Uh, are the cars running standard tires or semis? Well, uh, majority of the guys are running street tires. The more serious guys are running semis. Uh, just so they get that little bit extra grip obviously it's not always about speed it's about your angle and your momentum that you carry and not scrubbing off too much speed so the grip is going to help you if you have got the semis on but the street tires most of the guys will be uh, with street tires and uh, yeah it's, we can have a, a nice as Witzenberg Motor Club also commented now that most of the front wheel drive guys will be running semi-slicks or full slicks, so like mostly semi-slicks. Um, so yeah, that's we're going to see a different kettle of fish now in the, on the technical side now because those guys will be on the warm-up section and the guys who are all on the technical section are now on the warm-up section. Now the warm-up section is going to play more into the hands of the drifters. They're going to have a lot more fun with it. Obviously, they might not have the, the speed going around turn five because they're going sideways, so it's scrubbing off a little bit of speed unless the angles, the front axle angles, has all been set and they can get this maximum uh, locking angle, if you can put it that way. Like you see, your drifting car is almost 90 degrees uh, or 90 degrees to the body or of the vehicle. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We won't be seeing so much of the guys who are on the technical side. They'll be on the warm-up section. And, but now the fun begins as everybody, as you can just see, they are walking the course, they are discussing the course, they are checking their phones, they're checking the, the image that they've, been, that they've received from the organizers as to how the, the, the course has to be run. And trust me, it's caught up quite a few guys earlier today. And I won't be surprised if a lot of guys get it wrong during the test runs. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Bevan Harris, for giving me four inches there. I really appreciate it out of here on the YouTube section. I'm still laughing for the Cape Style 86 now. But uh, yeah, we're not here to make fun of the guys. The guys are having some fun. Uh, I hope they're having fun. I'm having fun watching these guys. It's, it's, it's been liquor being back in the tower. So yeah, guys, if you want to discuss anything related to this event, feel f more than uh, welcome to comment. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You're not going to bite your head off. I'm a nice guy.
Can I tell you? Guys, we just had a bit of a off mic, not situation, but a little discussion. But uh, what we also going to bring to you guys, we're going to get you some in-car footage uh, from both sides. So we're not going to be like racist or anything or racist at the moment. So we'll show you from both sides, the warm-up section as well as the technical section as to what happens inside the car, what it's like to be sitting in the car when doing these uh, things. So if you're interested, you can more than welcome to jump onto the Wittsenberg Motor Club uh pages on facebook uh, and you can get involved that way uh, also you can tune into straight out of cape town on monday and friday if I'm not mistaken monday and friday mondays oh, did i say monday now i meant wednesday sorry wednesdays and fridays it's wednesday i don't know why i said monday For some strange reason, it's monday. but uh yeah so that is on wednesday and on friday uh I myself have been a guest on uh, the Straight Outta Cape Town show a couple of weeks ago, along with uh, Shadley Daniels and Shaim Bell. So, yeah, uh, don't be scared. Comment. I don't have friends. You guys are the only friends I have on the comments, man. so Eugene Norse I see you've asked uh, when is the next Shamkana we are currently waiting for the next lot of dates from Kilani International Raceway as uh, I said earlier in the live feed that uh, the nature of uh, the lockdown the COVID the regulations etc it makes it very difficult to compile a calendar uh, as the regards of that so obviously we'll stay posted and check out the uh, straight out of Cape Town page on Facebook they will always keep you in contact or informed as to what happens with Jamkana um, so yeah let's just cut to camera one you see that the whole lot of discussions again there around the cones the triad cones that have claimed uh, many uh, a driver and navigator this more uh, earlier today I don't know why I want to say this morning this event started this afternoon I'm so used to doing uh, morning events Yeah, so we're just cycling through to see that's the bike chicane there and then oh, that's off right so that's one which is our cycling cam for the alleyway as well Okay, so the technical team is just going to go through a camera check for the live feed to ensure that there is no hiccups, no hiccups with regard to uh, your viewing pleasure. So, uh, yeah, and look, those drone shots, I'm loving the drone shots. I cannot lie, it is amazing. It gives you a different perspective as to what the event is running. Uh, so, you will be looking at the bike chicane until we've uh, just checked all the cameras as to the uh, their health status currently on battery life and uh, yeah we'll be back soon uh, see some of the guys are getting ready it looks like Leon Engelbrecht is ready on the warm-up section but unfortunately no cameras on that section but we will have a ride along on both sections uh, once we are done with the break so share the link don't forget I'd like to have a conversation with you guys talk to me talk to me man talk to me
I'm so impressed because I must see most every one you do. Um, say again. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, you're doing a.
Wow! Ayos ang TV! Hey! Hello! Hello! So, uh, yeah guys, um, I'm Uncle Figo, the ugly guy behind the mic. Uh, just a little bit of a response here to uh, Mr. Naidu. Asked about the grassroots drifters. Yes, they are a group, another gentleman also on. Okay, so we got an 86 out on track at the Triad Cones. Guys, it went on the uh, warm up. Turns around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, as Buddha59 said that uh, you need to look for grassroots uh, drifters out on Instagram. Yeah, they are there. They normally do a lot of track time here at Kilani International Raceway during the week. Uh, so one of those that you need to have your own car. But uh, as you've got the guys who are on the warm-up section, they are currently at the technical section now. And uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting. As you see Herbie now on the warm-up section. spin out there from the 8.6 it's a little bit more technical than what they used to do most of the part of the day but uh, Andrew Croy I agree with you Corona must just pack a bag and hoy also I would like to be at the rally as well you see the DJ Ready D pulling in on the warm up section into the block get the green flag and the 8.6 now going through the triad cones Gets a green flag. Oh, that's the test runs. So the guys are doing the test runs now currently. Uh, Toyota 86 Club made their debut appearance at the WBM Jamkana at the end of the season event in Mauriceburg. Yeah, it's nice to have them back. It's quite a few of them. Leila Osman Rari. Yeah, Buddha's uh, track time is not cheap, not cheap at all. 
but I think uh, the drifter guys get it for a little bit less than what the drag guys can get it for. The drag guys don't get much seat time. They struggle to get this time. So here comes the uh, Cape Style 86, Foist Estana 8. So you can't any luck. Coaster on the pipe chicane. Gonna head towards the scrutineering bay now. Around the box, down the alleyway. And the triad cones. Ah, triad cone has already claimed the victim. Gone the wrong way. Around the bike chicane again. Losing momentum there. But corrected it. Goes through. Far side cone of the triads. Nicely threaded there though. Eyes deceived me where I think it went actually. The sequence was a bit the wrong way. It didn't go long way around. Stops, gets a green flag, stopped in the correct manner. Sounds like Daniel Blazes out, yeah, Daniel Blazes out on the warm up section. He is threading that needle. Obviously, you guys can't see it on the live feed, but you can hear it. I hope you guys can hear it. And he stops perfectly. Daniel Blazes having a lot of fun with that 350 ZOVS. Twin Camp Champ now out on the warm up section. Ah, we have some roaming footage now. GD86 sporting the BBS wheel. It goes. Try it, go and start off. Thread it. I think they get nice and smooth though. Not losing momentum by kicking out the back end. Goes through scrutineering section. Threads the needle there. Nice, he's got a nice pace coming through there. Nice and smooth as he's driving. Towards the triad cones now. Trying not to add extra distance on. Threads the needle. Oh, running it very, very wide. Has to make it up. Added on a lot of distance there. Trying to keep it nice and smooth. Long way around to the triad cones. For the last time, the furthest cone from the start line of the triad cones. Nice and clean. Well done. A little bit of a mistake there. The triad cones, but we don't blame you. Triad cones has claimed many earlier. Possibly, I'm thinking it's probably John Ray Port is now out of the Nissan 1800 Toyota motor powered. 
obviously I can't see the number on the window because the window is uh, rolled down. It's going around the drive oh, a little bit too much. It doesn't take a donut though. Nicely done. To the finish line and stops. Gets a green flag. Well done there for him. Leila Osman saying whoop whoop GT86. Oh, the rally guys are doing a rally sprint at uh, Clicky. That's the next week. Guys, we got our women cam. That's Nick Berger. Come through the scrutineering the drum. Adds a little bit of distance on him. That one meter, two meters you're adding on. It's slow, it gives you a, lo a longer time. Nicely done. Nicely done. This is long way around now. But too much rotation, lost momentum there. Taking a wider line into the closest cone to the camera. And towards the box he goes. Gets the green flag. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. That was Nick Berger with a Tiora 86. E90 BMW now. Emil Assure is driving the BM, the 6R has been retired. It goes through the scrutiny. Is it a 320 or 320 Can't really see. Sounds like a diesel. Oh, 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 triad cones claims a victim. Wrong way, son. Back to the triad cones. Whoa. E90 floating. Whoa. Triad cones claims another victim. And Emil Ashur bought that run. Andrea Crow, I see you say you need to join a service crew. Is the 20 valve not running? Y'all guys, 20 valve. Uh, I know Daniels gets a red flag in the warm up section because he kept rolling with the car in the stop block. So I think this is Slade now. Number 11. Front wheel drive, 2 liter turbo. This is the momentum there on the cone. Comes towards the pike uh, chicken. Threads the needle at the uh, triad cones. Go around, long way around to the furthest cone. Oh, another victim claimed. Another victim claimed. The Slade Williams on his first test run of the technical section. Roman Mike. Right, so we got Mr. Osman now. GD86. Mr. O Spears out in Mitchell's play. the scrutineering oh, 
very deep there. Goes to the bike chicane. Trying not to put the back end of the car out too much. Trying to keep it nice and smooth and clean. Now you go the long way around to the furthest cone of the triad cones. Oh, the car was pointing in the wrong direction there. Comes around. Into the block. And he gets the green flag. So we've got Kyle now busy uh, roaming with the camera down at the warm up section. Isaac van Sel gonna do battle there now. I feel sorry for the 86. Alright, so it's Subaru time. That's uh, Chris Holm Julius. Chris Holm Julius with his Subaru Impreza SDI. Looks like an. Uh, it's a Ooh, nice! That's nice. Force the car into a slide. Oh. DCCD makes a big difference on a scooby. Driver center control diff. I think it cut that a little bit short. As Isaac Vansel is having some fun. A little bit of donuts. Next 8-6. This is Imran Khaya. No stranger to Kilani. Stand the robot racing here, Kilani. Triad Cones has claimed another victim. Continuing, he goes. All choosing a very funny line there, just in the alleyway, he goes. Triad Cones. What? Too much. Yeah, Triad Cones has claimed another victim. Yeah, definitely claimed that. Okay, so another 86. Let's just see if I can see the number. And 41. That's Brenton Govender. Whoa! Try cones of us already claimed the victim. Those three cones, they're closest to the start line. That's caught many a guys out on their first and second runs. To scrutineering it goes. Losing momentum there. Comes down the alleyway. Try it, Cones. This is the question. Does he get it right? Through. Back to the bike chicane. Around the bike. Oh, too much and lost the momentum there. There we go. Keeps the momentum this time around. Goes through. Oh, too much. He obviously has a smile on his face while he's doing that. I know I'd be smiling if I did that. Cut into 
Right, so we're cutting to Kyle now. He's walking. Oh, he went farming. Oh, I know the losing signal. Losing signal on that run. So Lamal Pariachi with a WRX STI in Pretza. Now through there. Blob STI. Probably 04, 05. 05 that it would have a center control DCCD driver control center diff. Oh. Triad Cones, claiming another victim. So is no one gonna talk to me? John D. The gentleman used to do Jamkana back in the day with the uh, Street to Strip event that used to run on a Friday night. Used to have drags on the one side and Jamkana at turn two. And also used to drift. This is John D. 2. John D. 1. Uh, accident. As he comes through to the scrutineering section now. Nice line through there. Doesn't adjust his line approach to the uh, barrel down the alleyway. it up Whoa, loses the momentum back around the bike chicane Another victim claimed by the triad girls. Very, very technical, very difficult. Uh, Splinter the Rat, yes, I think you just missed it by a couple of minutes. Uh, Chris Julius ran his impreza the eye not too long ago. You got a BMW now out on circuit. Bilal Parker. Two three five. Is it a two three five or is it a two two five? Oh, going out. Ooh, what are you doing, man? Not supposed to do that. Sure. Completely changed the course there, comes down the uh, No, that's a two three five. No, no, Triad Cones have claimed you. Yeah, the cones have has been pretty, pretty difficult. So we got this, uh, what sounds like a 350Z powered DQ35 DE powered S6. Goes around. Chicane. Come back this way. To scrutineering. See if he chooses what type of line he chooses. He chooses the line, he adjusts his line, his approach towards the battle. Got a little bit sideways there in the 
चले भाई सेम स्टाइल ऑफ अप्रोच Corners has claimed the yet another victim. Nian the toy now. Main circuit man. Also was a guest on the show on Wednesday evening. On Straga Rafeta. So there you go. I think we might have somebody that's linking it up correctly. The way it's supposed to be now is going to should go the long way around to the furthest cone. It oh, is a third drop. Comes around. Carry his nice momentum and into the gates of Hades. Okay, guys. So we're gonna try yet again to do a uh, stream from the inside of the vehicle that's gonna be taking part on the warm-up section. Uh, it will be Leon Ingobres uh, Mark Two, two liter sixteen valve, as the Cape Style uh, eighty six spins out there a little bit. We'll come around the bike chicane. Cutting it very short there. As Logan gets a red flag in the warm-up section though. Crossing the line with his rear wheels as the Cape Style Gogil Ship comes through. And there we go. We'll go around the bike chicane. Gets a green flag. Right, so we're gonna try this interior. Sh oh, look at that! Kyle is live from inside Leon's car. Off they go. Oh, we tried. We do apologize about that. We have tried. Oh, cash guy on the circuit now on the technical side. Thirty-seven. Number thirty-seven is Ashley Abbott with the cash guy turbo diesel. Oh, the cloud. The Cones claim we get another victim.
Right, so it's Eugene Kaiser with the N46 5320IE90 LCI. It's facelift for those that don't speak BMW. Pops and bangs there. Does the triad cones. Suck is having fun on the warm up section. I feel sorry for those tires. Seems like the BM has got it right. <laughs> Splinter the rat. Yes, it was kind of a good rat run, but uh, everybody was struggling with the triad cones, which is the three cones closest to the start line, as you can see in the shot right now. Uh, it's these three cones, this triangle that uh, is uh, causing the problem a lot of guys are getting confused with the figure eights call my even listen is key listen there right so the 235i is back the f22 Oh, launch control on a Scooby. Whoa, where are you going? Didn't he do this the last time or so? You're not supposed to make a circle around the drum. You're supposed to go around on the outside and through the alleyway. Picks up again. Oh, no. Yeah, as I said, the cones, you're supposed to go between the one closest to the camera, around, and then around. Oh, overshot it. The bike chicane. Then you return back, then you thread through, furthest cone, you go around. Oh, he's gone straight to the exit. So yeah, those cones have been pretty, pretty uh, uh, difficult to situation to navigate. So, Candace Mills, welcome, welcome. Mr. Naira, why you retract your message? Sean Pretorius was on the short, uh, the warm-up section. He uh, used full ball launch control on the start. Miller Shaw is now out of the E90. As his polo is out. So he's had to substitute his car. So Mueller Shaw now comes through the alleyway. Sounds like a big one. Locks it up. And he'll go back around for the bike chicane. Candace, can you hear some of the cars from here? Who does funny Piavo? Nah, bro, that's not even an extra, it's a quash guy. Squishy, a squishy. A J11, a J10 squishy. Not a J11. There's a Miller Show now, guys, too. Oh, big, big turning circle. Yeah, it was, uh, Kyle is with uh, Mr. Height, but unfortunately the uh, camera situation there is not working the way we would like it. It's losing signal somehow. Aaron Chen. I hope it's Aaron Chen and not. Oh, it could be Wasim Parker as well because it's got two threes on the window. I'm not sure if it's number three or number 33. Yeah, these cones have uh, been very, very, very tricky today. Oh, 8 6 goes farming. 
playing around a little too long in the triad section. Aaron Hendrix says, lekker camera angles and drone footage top notch, lekker tasty films. So Candice, you're not one of those Karens that complain to the to the council about noise, eh? Just, just need to double check. Yeah, the Facebook side of things, the comments are very, very quiet. Guys, you need to speak to me, let me talk to you guys. There's the champ bucket. Uh, John Dre Puertas, number five. Comes through the lane. Towards the triad. Oh, oh, forget away, forget away, forget away. Around the pipe chicane. off into the finish section doesn't wait for the flag gets a red flag <laughs> hey, we can't discuss these things, we're on air here. Right, uh, find a Karen. So there's a uh, Slate. Slade Williams with the Audi is out of course. So Slade Williams now going around the uh, bike chicane towards the uh, triad cones. Goes through. Nicely done. Oh, oh, tafang him eight. Yeah, those cones is very, 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 very uh, confusing with those figure eights. In the box he goes. And he gets a green flag for Slade Williams. Okay, so Mr. Osman now, uh, coming through. It's so dangerous. Towards the cones, triad cones. Round throughs, now he should go into the bike chicane, around the bike chicane. He's keeping his line very clean, he's trying, ah, uh, as I sing his praises, he goes and does a liquor donut there, and it's not even Sunday for a kusista. It goes around long front end washing away there a little bit. I think maybe a smaller wheel would help. Rotational mass in the box. Nicely done.
Right, so uh, our guy in the clouds is back. Got the Scooby, I think that's Chris Holm. Number 15. Chris, it yeah, was asked of the knife it is there. Sounds amazing. Gaze up. There's the slow strap down the speed. Oh, wrong way around the cone. Now the cones have been catching everybody out. And he'll come through long furthest cone. Come around. Did some amazing things on his previous run. The uh, driver, driver control center diff. I think it a little slowly. Rather be sure about it. Chris Holm or Chris Julius. Right, this is Imran Khayyar now, 86. Oh! The cones have caught him out. Redesigning the force. Hope he's having some fun with it. No one wanna speak to me in the comments. Is going boss. Brenton Govinda now towards scrutineering. And there we go, some aerial view. Nicely done around the cone here. Try out cones. Oh, too much overcooked it. Lost the momentum midway through the drift. You can see there the warm up section on the live feed from this angle. You can see where the guys are starting on the back straight, heading towards turn 5. Lamal Padiachi now coming through the scrutineering section as the drone shot gives us the the looksy coming down as Anwar Daniels now pulls to the start line at the warm up section with his 200 SX SR20 powered. Scoop will go inside.
around the bike chicane goes Le Mans Right, so Lamal now goes into the block and he gets the green flag. As that sounds like Anwar Daniels is having a party here at the back. Clutch kick. the light bulb. Oh, overcooks it. And back to the slalom. You see Chanti going through the, the alleyway. Chanti goes through, he'll go back to the... Uh, as Anwar Daniels is busy shredding tires here at the back. Smoking it up. Tati goes round, triad cones. He has claimed another victim. Nadia Singh now prepares for her warm up uh, section run. Green flag for Jonty. Right, so the 350Z power SMS slides it nicely. Oh, gets it wrong. But he's gonna hit now. Oh, there we go. Follow him. Get him. Oh, it sounds so amazing coming down the alleyway. Towards Triad Cones. On the cone, I should go back around the bike chicane. She does. Lost a little bit of momentum there. Nicely done. Furthest cone, cut in and go back to his right hand side, our left. He loses momentum. Done. Yeah. Three to eight turbo. Get a more feel of it. The perspective changing down the alleyway. Triad cones. I think Neander Toy has got this dialed in. Oh, goes super wide there. Nicely done, tucked it very close to the cone and he stopped and I think he got a green flag there.
This one cash guy now. Going around the pike chicken. Oh, got it wrong. Didn't go back to the triad cones. Drone shot showing there, a nice aerial view there. You can see whether he washed his roof or not. This is the drag tower is duck look. Cash guy diesel. Mm -hmm. Seems like he's gotten the route right. There we go. Green flag for the cash guy. Right aerial view there. I think this is uh, Emil Ashore. The wait and see, maybe not. No, it's not. 320i. That's Eugene Kaiser. Now to the furthest cone, triad cones. Wasim Parker now on the track triad cones back towards the bike chicane tries to keep his line smooth Added a little bit too much distance on there, but crosses the line and he gets the green flag. Andre Boat is now on circuit. I think he 
over shot there. Comes down the alleyway. Uncertain about which way he should have gone. And it boards the run. Uh, Eugene Norse, I'm not too sure if uh, what the cost is. You need to obviously miss getting contact with the guys, and they'll be obviously able to tell you better. Um, Jade Kun, I'm not too sure because the one is Aaron is number three, and Wasim has got number 33. And the car has two threes on the back window, which is a big space, so I'm not too sure who is who. But you only concentrate on one group. It's not the fact that the, the idea is we're supposed to be on the technical section. Uh, this event is not about drifters, it's about the Jimkana. And the guys are all about having fun. So the drifters came along, come and play along with the guys. We'll try to get some shots once the guys go out uh, around turn 5, if we possibly could. Uh, we'll probably try to do that for you guys. Okay, just to answer your question on what it costs, 500 bucks per driver uh, for the first event. Right? And then the second event you sign a club membership with the uh, Pittsburgh Motor Club, which is about 500 bucks as well. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, cost effective, I think. I think I should do this also. But then who's going to talk? Uh, yeah, Jacob, uh, I'm not too familiar with the colors, but um, look, there's a two threes on the back windscreen, so I'm possibly calling it wrong. So, from what I've told is that uh, Wasim is navigating and Aaron is driving. That's the information that I've received. Right, so it's a mill ashore on track, not with the polo. Polo was retired earlier on the warm-up section. So, there he goes. Ooh, triad cones catches another victim. So, a mill ashore will now head to the finish line and gets a green flag. Right, so we got Slade Williams now on the track. Bike chicane. Right, 
right, so it's slate going through the triad cones, long way around. Nicely done. I think Slade has gotten it now. A lot of guys have been uh, caught out by the three cones here. And he gets a green flag. Well done, Slade. Right, somebody wanted some slidey action. Isaac Van Sale is going to choose the fastest line around there. And he'll slide it. Turn five. Slide, slide, slide to the cone. Wiggles it a little bit. Loses the momentum. If it goes, slides it midway of turn five. Nicely done. You should come back into the box. In the box, around the pole. As Mr. Osman now comes through. On the technical side, we'll go back to the bike chicane. Loses momentum. So Mr. Osborne now comes to the finish line and he gets a green flag. Right, now we got the Subaru on the warm-up section. Sean Pretorius his way back around and dip into the box goes around and to the slalom as we cut back now to Chris Kuburu grants the handbrake if he goes to the bike chicane Around the bike chicane. Now a long way around to the furthest cone on the triad cones. Stops. Green flag. Nicely done there by Chris. Nicely done. Eugene, I'm not too sure of the, the if it's per car or per driver, but from my understanding, it will be per driver. If you can enter two cars, obviously that will have to discuss with the organizers with regards to that. Vicky Garrick. Hello, thanks for the positive feedback on the video, on the live feed. Now the triad cones catch us the guys are not quite a bit, quite a bit. He must die, this is going to go sort out the cone that he knocked over. 8-6, ooh too much and loses momentum, spins out. Clutch kick. Triad cones have been catching up the guys all day long. And the 
box indicates a green flag. Right, so it's Brenton Govinder now out on the circuit now. Oh, gets it wrong. I was supposed to return to try it. Cones goes through. Scrutineering section around the barrel. Through the alleyway. Power shifting the alleyway. That's nicely done. Very nicely done. Oh, loses the momentum. So they try it, the uh, Collins caught him out there now. And he returns to the finish line. Scooby-Doo! I think this is um, Lamal Pariachi. Yeah. Around the bike chicane. Try eight cones. Osman says, uh, well done to the 86 guys, looking good out there. Can't wait to join the next jump car now. Yeah, you must join. Eli Roper, Pops doing us proud. Who's your Pops? You must say, who's your Pops? So Chanti's going to come out now again with a Ford Escort. Chanti goes through now to the alleyway. Getting a little bit more confident. Comes nice and close to the closest cone. Goes out. Around the bike chicane. Front end just running away a little bit there with him. Nicely done. Through he goes. Cones claim yet another victim. Froji uh, 25 and what was taken? In this escort. John tickets green flag. Look at that shot. Ooh, this shot just looks amazing because you now you guys can see the warm-up section the and the beautiful, the beautiful oh. mountain of ours as the VK3545 uh, 206 takes to the track.
Pak de koon over. Ram de koon. Into scrutinering he goes. Into the alleyway. Out he comes. Nicely linked up drift though. He lifted up very, very nicely. Lost a little bit of momentum. Comes around the try at cones. There we go. Long way around. He's linking it up pretty nicely. Yes, yes. Well, ah, almost well done. He knocked that cone over. Sure. John Ray Dumini. Oh, why is it VK? It's a uh, 350Z power. Sorry, my apologies. As Daniel Bayes is just smoking it up here on the other section. Does a standstill. <laughs> Does a little standstill there in the in the in the finish box. So I see Nian the toy now. He's standing ready. With his uh, three to eight turbo. Slides it around the bike chicane. Into scrutinating he goes. Grabs another gear in the alleyway. Nicely done. In the background as well, the champ Bucky doing his thing. Oh, he moved the cone around. And he stops. Gets the green flag. As the champ Bucky is going through the slalom section. Look at that. Bobbing and weaving and on the brakes. Did he make it? No, he got a red flag. Sorry sir, too many of your wheels are across the line. Yeah guys, so the, please the, don't be shy, talk to me, speak to me in the comments. Still trying to, I'm waiting for Ellie uh, Roper to say who, who's a dad, who's a daddy here on the feed. Right, so the Cascade Diesel now going through there. That is Ashley Abbott. Got them Advan one wheels on there. Ampersom Wasas. Off he goes. Nicely threaded there. I'm loving this this drone footage here. This view, I'm loving it. Oh no no the cash guy went the wrong way. Wrong way. I go to the guy. He's doing so well. Somebody knocked the cone off, he's off to go in the reverse. You can see in the live feed he's reversing to go put the cones up himself.
Eugene Kaiser with the E90 coming through the alleyway. Taking a very different type of angle approach to the cone. Takes a wide line for the chicane. Trying to make sure he comes through there as quickly as possible. Into the box he goes, gets a green flag. Feroz Naka now. Taking a very different line to the rest of the guys. I noticed. Go around the bike chicane. Triad cones. Wow, nearly linked it up and he's moved that cone totally out of the way. So he doesn't have to deal with it anymore. And around and around and around we go as Anwar Daniels comes back through the slalom. You can see from the drone footage. Thank you, Eugene Nose. Yes, uh, the aerial footage is taking my breath away as well when they just added the table mount and spice to it. Yes, yes. You could see some of everybody doing what they were doing, man. It was lekker. But I'm liking that you hopefully they leave the drone up there for a bit long. Oh, yes. Hello, table mountain. As Nadia Singh is taking on the warm up section. Uh, Spexy STI. And the end, toy now goes out with his E36328 I turbo. So you'll go around the drop out of boost there. He's trying to keep it as sideways as possible. Nicely done. Sideways through the alleyway. Oh, the guys are all getting clever and going as close to the, the furthest cone. Smoking it up. For another round. He wants to grab another gear and it goes into a crazy flip. Spin. 
and he's disappeared in a cloud of smoke. He didn't even wait to get the flag. Right, so Isaac van Sel there on the warm-up section. As Spider-Man now comes forward. Rugby. Kanthe. There we go. So now you can see what the warm-up section looks like through, around and into the box. I think front wheel drive will have a better advantage, a much better advantage on the warm up section because they're going to have a smooth run. Just as a shot is just looking amazing with those clouds also at the back of Table Mountain. Into the box. Through the slalom. And then through and then break. Gets the green flag. Looks like Lorcan's gonna go out again with the 5 litre Mustang on the warm up section more suited for for him i think being a drifter so feroz is on the technical circuit spins out Through he goes. Try Ed Cones. Back to the bike chicane. Spun out there. Chloe and Haynes, Papa, done me proud. Right, so it's Duncan Jeffers now on the warm-up section. Turbo and supercharged Mark 2. Going around turn 5 as Feroz makes his way into the scrutineering. And out through the alleyway. Seems like Duncan made a bit of a mistake there. Okay, so Ashfaq and Abdul is driving the 86 is currently on the track. As Duncan Jeffers makes himself through the needle. 
threading the needle and hard on the brakes. Green flag. Mike Van Ass. Land Rover V8. Through he goes. Mike Van Ass now, in and out, we'll go through the slalom. And hard on the brakes. Green flag. This is like a most painted towers roof, young. So it's finally the toy now with the rustler going out on the warm-up section. Look at that back end just clicking out of that phantom. He went a bit farming there.
Right, so is Daniel Blazer now going to have some fun? He's following the route. Going around the pole. Comes back out. He's having lots of fun. Daniel Blazer blazing it up. some fun I know what are you done done
Thank you for watching guys. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen from myself, Zaid Uncle Figure Krill and the live feed team. See you next time and don't forget to like and subscribe yo. It's a little bad and ding the notification bell. Point to the camera and say hashtag Rakvesh.